Welcome to Scruffy City Roots Rewind. This week, Aaron Donovan talks to Hummy House, a new gypsy sound from Nashville that combines everything from Afro-Cuban beats and soul to jazz and rockabilly. Scruffy City Roots Rewind is brought to you by East Tennessee PBS, Metropulse, Visit Knoxville, the Downtown Central Improvement District, WBIR, UT's College of Rock, 90.3 The Rock, MK Technologies, and now your host, Aaron Donovan. Welcome to another edition of Scruffy City Roots Rewind. I'm Aaron Donovan. Right now we are in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we are on the campus of the University of Tennessee. Some people that you may know from here going with a little bit of a sports theme, Pat Summit and Peyton Manning. Plus there's a lot more, but right now that's all I can remember. And just like our sports roots here in Knoxville, our music roots run very deep. And there's one band that came and played, and they're not from here, but Humming House likes Knoxville. Love it, love it. It's really fun. There's a lot of little cultural things here. and We started an Irish night and uh, got together on Sunday nights and played Irish pub tunes and drank Jameson. And then we started a band. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just kind of worked. There was, yeah. there was a little chemistry there and Justin was already planning on making an album yeah. and kind of brought us all in on it because it was already working to play together. And kind of listened back to the record and we're like, it's a band. Yeah. We're There's, cool with that. We've been co-writing since the record a lot. Everybody's mm -hmm. a great writer in the band, so that's really helpful. Christian is an amazing songwriter, and everybody kind of has their own role and background in songwriting, so it's, it's, it's become a very collaborative process. So. And thus, I mean, an eclectic process as well. I kind of come from the soul world, and we've got classical, like, composition influences, mm -hmm. and bluegrass, and Mike, hey Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mike does his own thing too, so we've just got all sorts of stuff kind of coming in. Mike's not a thing. No, I mean, no. Mike's wonderful. Yeah. He's, a, he's a doctorate. He's a very eclectic man. He's got a doctorate in, in sound studies and, uh, yeah. He's a professor. Invents instruments and things of that nature and teaches at a university and... Goes to China on business meetings. Yeah, he's a very interesting guy. Yeah. We feel a little inferior sometimes. She's perfect. Yes. That's Mike. Mike. Yeah. Well, then there's Josh, and he owns a scavenger hunt company. A gypsy jangle from the east in a caravan on a Paris street. I said, oh, no.
scavenger hunt company. That's something I probably never would have thought of. I also never would have thought that Betty White drives the band around. It's the ultimate fan experience. Fanboy Expo 2012. Come meet celebrities from film, television, and the comic world. Kelly Hu from X-Men 2. C. Thomas Howell from Red Dawn. Derek Mears from Friday the 13th. Special ticket packages available. It's Fanboy Expo 2012, October 26th through 28th. For information or tickets, visit fanboyexpo.com. You've seen all kinds of movies, but you've never seen anything like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Come see a cult classic Time that's perfect for a pre-Halloween romp, the Rocky Madness. Horror Picture Show. Come dressed to impress as your favorite Rocky Horror character. Doors open at 10 o'clock. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show at the Tennessee Theater. For information or tickets, visit TennesseeTheater.com. Day events. Johnny Long's Training Academy and WBIR are teaming up to bring Knoxville its first zombie run, the Zombie Escape 5K. It's an afternoon of mud, fun, and fake blood where brave adventurers navigate a challenging obstacle course while evading the grasp of ravenous zombies. The escape takes place October 27th at Johnny Long's Training Academy. Proceeds will benefit Habitat for Humanity, the Zombie Escape 5K. For information, visit KnoxvilleZombieEscape.com. Welcome back to Scruffy City Roots Rewind. Now, I did mention Betty White before the break, but you're going to have to hold off on that one. Because first, we're going to find out how some of the band members get a lot of support from their family. That, yeah, they're very supportive, actually. So, We actually just found out my family's from Colorado. They all live out there. We just found out we get to go play shows there in August, and they were so beside themselves. They're so supportive, and they, they're excited about it. Well, the bus is called Betty White, so mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a fairy tale. She's a sassy <laughs> lady, toting us around yes. all day. Um, I don't know. There's lots of productivity going on. There's lots of yeah. emailing. There's lots of phone calls. We're not your typical, like, freewheeling, fun-loving band. Not that we don't love fun. I would say we're really fun people. We hate fun. We do not hate <laughs> fun. But we would all be there, like, either having a philosophical conversation or emailing on our phones or, like, analyzing the effect of sound on what have I mean, we're just a little... We're a little off the beaten path in that sense. When we hang out with other bands, sometimes they're just, like... I mean, or we just play a band Scrabble and that's it. Yeah, we do, well, we, we sometimes, we get our instruments and write or practice. Yeah. Sometimes we do that. There's a wheel in the wind, a whale in the spin, it won't slow it down, slow it down. There's a wheel in the wind, a whale in the spin, it won't slow it down, slow it down. There's a wheel in the wind, a whale in the spin, it won't slow it down, slow it down. Chicago, it's been a while. California held me captive for miles. I was caught in a style. You're where I wanted to go. And I say, oh me, oh me, you're the city I've been dying to see. Oh me, oh me, oh, blow me back to the banks of Chicago. Oh, I've been riding the road.
Chicago, I've been yearning. Sweet Seattle, she was in love with learning. She became a burden. You're where I wanted to go. Cold Chicago, I'm in Nashville. I'm not a drinker, but I haven't had my fill. You're the whiskey for this skill. Knitter, I can't even crochet. When we come back, we'll tell you what the butterfly effect is. It's the ultimate fan experience. Fanboy Expo 2012. Come meet celebrities from film, television, and the comic world. Celebrate 50 years of James Bond with superstars George Lazenby, Richard Jaws Keel, as well as Bond girls Maude Adams and Lena Wood. Special ticket packages available. It's Fanboy Expo 2012, October 26th through 28th. For information or tickets, visit fanboyexpo.com. Sip fine wines and savor great cuisine at the 2012 Wine on the Water to benefit the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Friday, October 19th from 6.30 to 9.30. From wine novices to advanced wine enthusiasts, Wine on the Water is a casual and fun evening for all experience levels. It's Wine on the Water, Friday, October 19th from 6.30 to 9.30. For information, visit wineonthewater.com. Race Day Events, Johnny Long's Training Academy and WBIR are teaming up to bring Knoxville its first zombie run, the Zombie Escape 5K. It's an afternoon of mud, fun, and fake blood where brave adventurers navigate a challenging obstacle course while evading the grasp of ravenous zombies. The escape takes place October 27th at Johnny Long's Training Academy. Proceeds will benefit Habitat for Humanity, the Zombie Escape 5K. For information, visit KnoxvilleZombieEscape.com. Inspire. Honor. Celebrate. Fight cancer locally. For 19 years, Buddy's Race Against Cancer has led East Tennessee's fight against cancer, and they have raised more than $4 million for cancer screenings and education. For more information or to register, go to buddiesrace.org. You might be wondering where the name Humming House came from. We'll tell you about that in just a second. But first, let's find out where they get some of their inspiration. Yeah, we're all over the map musically. I mean, literally have completely different backgrounds. Um, I don't know. I grew up on the West Coast, so I don't think I really figured out what music I was in love with until college. But. Um, I don't know. I mean, I grew up with bands like the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Radiohead and stuff like that. And then I love Paul Simon. Um, I really respect musicians like Beck that have an eclecticity to what they do, who are always reinventing themselves in a new record or song by song. And so I've kind of always wanted to emulate that sort of a career, if you will, something that is constantly surprising for your audience, like doing a lot of genre blending because then you're not stuck, you're not pegged as a 90s rock band, you're not pegged as like, you know, whatever today's 
you know, it thing is that you can constantly change. So mm -hmm. more, than, more than one person, I just like those things about groups. Growing up, um, I'll never forget like being young and hearing Stevie Wonder and being like, that is awesome. My parents played a lot of Motown in the house, which was huge. Um, definitely the Eagles, because they, they like taught me to sing harmony. We just would sit in the car on family trips and, you know, all five parts. My mom would whip around and be like, somebody's flat. And that's how you learned. That's how you learned to be good at it. Wow. Um, it, was, it was fun. Um, other than that, I mean, being young, I remember listening to Shaka Khan in the 80s and just being like, I think she does what I want to do and I'm not sure if I'm built for it, but I'm going to figure it out. So. Those were definite poignant moments in my musical development. I hitchhike high with my hitchhike low, paying them pounds these hitchhike bones. I hitchhike high with my hitchhike low, paying them pounds these hitchhike bones. Westbound feet on a rocky range, the western wind it wails my name. I hitchhike high with my rocky range, the western wind it wails my name, and I hold out. Sinking sand will send me home. I hitchhike high with my hitchhike low. Sinking sand will send me home and I hold out. It's the ultimate fan experience. Fanboy Expo 2012. Come meet celebrities from film, television, and the comic world. Adrian Paul from the Highlander TV series. Dirk Benedict from the A-Team and Battlestar Galactica. Mark Singer from the Beastmaster. Special ticket packages available. It's Fanboy Expo 2012, October 26th through 28th. For information or tickets, visit fanboyexpo.com. We race for all survivors. I race for my wife. I race for my special co-worker and friend. I race for my mom. I race for my niece. We race for our grandmother. And our great-grandmother. I race for my mom's best friend, Charlene Norton. 
Register today at ComanKnoxville.org. We'll see you at the race. Race Day Events, Johnny Long's Training Academy, and WBIR are teaming up to bring Knoxville its first zombie run, the Zombie Escape 5K. It's an afternoon of mud, fun, and fake blood, where brave adventurers navigate a challenging obstacle course while evading the grasp of ravenous zombies. The escape takes place October 27th at Johnny Long's Training Academy. Proceeds will benefit Habitat for Humanity, the Zombie Escape 5K. For information, visit KnoxvilleZombieEscape.com. I mean, we all kind of beforehand, I feel like all five of us to some extent, you know, do everything we can prepare and kind of stress and get all the details in order. And then right as we're walking out, we always look at each other and say, you know, throw a party. Because we do, we can get caught up in all the details and being really organized people and all that. But then whenever you get out there, you know, if like, if you're not having fun, no one else is going to either. Mm. So we do our best to just go out there and give like all the energy. So I feel like that moment of transition yeah. for me is walking out there and like, okay, going to grab, you know, my tambourine and like, let's do it. Yeah, I agree. There's that butterfly moment and then you just have to decide you're going to win them over. <laughs> yeah, we're at that stage. We don't have, I mean, we, we're a growing fan base and we're working on that, but you know, we don't walk into audiences, you know, except for in Nashville so far, you know, yeah. that, are, that have seen us. So we're kind of still in that spot where we're like, we love you. <laughs> Come at us. Yeah. Um, where did the name of the band come from? I don't know. <laughs> it's been in my head for a long time. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I've always liked the, the alliteration. And it also evokes kind of a musical motif, obviously, through humming. And then there's a house that something is going on, kind of insinuates. So I just like all the imagery that it conjures. Chicago. 
Alliteration is a good thing. Even better if Scruffy City Roots Rewind would have worked out. If you want to know more about Scruffy City Roots, you can go to scruffycityroots.com, visit our Facebook page, we have a YouTube page, and we are also on the Twitter. If you'd like to see Scruffy City Roots live, you can come on over to Cafe 4. We are live there once a month. All four bands come together. You might find something that you actually like that you never thought you would. Thank you so much for staying up with us or getting up with us. We'll see you next Saturday night. kinds of movies, but you've never seen anything like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Come see a cult classic Time that's perfect for a pre-Halloween romp, the Rocky Madness. Horror Picture Show. Come dressed to impress as your favorite Rocky Horror character. Doors open at 10 o'clock. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show at the Tennessee Theater. For information or tickets, visit TennesseeTheater.com. It's the ultimate fan experience. Fanboy Expo 2012. Come meet celebrities from film, television, and the comic world. World Wrestling Federation icons Hillbilly Jim and Jimmy Superfly Snuka. Not to mention special multi-celebrities from the Twilight Saga, The Walking Dead, and a special return of the Living Dead reunion. Special ticket packages available. For information or tickets, visit fanboyexpo.com.